More swimsuits. Oops, sorry, Thackeray. More swimsuits. More swimsuits. More swimsuits. Hi, it's Vanessa Benji Mateo from Drag Race Season 10, 11, Celebrities All uh, Secret uh, Celebrity uh, Appearance on Lip Sync Assassin on All Stars and everything else in between. We are here located in LA, Los Angeles, California, in my apartment, in the quarantine, COVID free, vaccinated. Welcome to my drag room, everybody. Mm-hmm. I don't really get ready at home. I usually get ready at the gigs, but this is during quarantine. This is why I've been getting ready, doing my Zooms, having my wine, makeup. You've seen it once, you've seen it before. Ain't nothing special, it's the same Do you see all the girls, makeup, brushes, moving along, let's go. I'm home during quarantine. If you ain't clean, you a nasty, sloppy bitch. I'm always organized. You can't get ready with bad mojo and the feng shui being, you know. It helps when everything's organized, at least for me. I'm a little bit scrabbled in my head, but everywhere else I feel like I am very oh, organized. This was the first crown I ever won. It was a little newcomer pageant. I'm still the current reigning because after that pageant, they never had it again, so I'm the only one that ever won it. We got wigs right here. Shout out to the bald-headed hoes, but that ain't me. This is my Latina. This is my red Rihanna. This is my Bob. That's my Take Your Child to Work Day wig. Fat ass, tight in the waist, a lot of skin. Legs out, that's my silhouette. I got nice brown tan skin, bitch. We gotta represent for the Latinas out there. And being naked is fine. Why the f you wanna cover this shit up? I ain't gonna look like this forever, bitch. I feel like I give the vibe of like the girl you knew growing up, your good friend, that bitch, if something happened with you, she gonna get in the car with you, we gonna beat his ass. That's the kind of vibe I get. So it's very like the bitch around the way. I take inspiration from a lot of things. My Latin roots, Instagram, Rihanna, pop culture. I have to be able to dance, or if I want to stand at a meet and greet and look gorgeous, then so a lot of things play a factor into deciding what I'm gonna look like. I have shoes. A lot of them I took from the workroom after season 10 and 11. I did take these shoes, cause you know, they were free and anything free is for me. We have more shoes at the bottom. I feel like I'm more than just a look. No tea, no tea to the bitches that are just a look. No tea. I don't bring just one thing to the uh, function. I don't bring just macaroni salad to the barbecue. I bring gandules, I bring yuca fries, bitch. I bring chuletas. So basically, I do, my looks are, you know, I serve a look, but I give you, there's a lot of layers. I feel like also people don't just tune into what I'm actually wearing. They wanna know what I'm thinking and saying. They wanna hear what Vanjie has to say. These are one of my favorite shoes. They lace up all the way to the top. They're really cute, they're hard to find, and they're pricey. I wore them on the reunion on uh, season 11 when we announced that me and Brooklyn weren't together anymore. These were the ones right here. You feel that? The pain and heart and sorrow and the heartache, but you look good with a good shoe, okay? You still get a lot of material going all the way up the leg, the strappy shoe all the way to the top. You still get, you know, hive. You still get drama. You still get leg. And you still get a shoe, but you still get the leg. I got good legs, bitch. No tea. A hoe essential. Clear, hoeish, green, neon, motorcycle bitch, kick your ass. Toes out. I have nice feet, so I always like to have my toes showing. You know, another pair, come on. Strappy. Dance heels are usually not pretty. So you have to like make them look good for the occasion. But for a runway, bitch go all out. I'm saying that now because now I'm looking back, obviously. When I got bad critiques, I would start taking it off and untucked. So I would take off the corset underneath, loosen it up, take off nails, take off jewelry. I would put on dance shoes. If you go and look at the runway, when I walk the runway, I have on one shoe. When I come back to lip sync and the critiques, there are dance shoes on, look at that. And I don't have on no jewelry, I look crazy. Moving along, one of the many swimsuits that I've worn, I don't wear them anymore because, bitch, they let me have it. This I wore during Untucked on season 12. I was a guest. I also wore it during um, Iggy Azalea's music video. I was in her music video. Brianna has always kind of been a little, like an inspiration to me. I like her style, her fashion. She's from the islands like me. I'm from Puerto Rico. She's from Barbados. And, you know, um, also she's not always just like one note. It's like layers to like, she always gives you like edge, but she'll be glamour. and. 
she always has a little touch of tomboy, like, you know, layers. And I see a lot of that in me, so I like, you know, full inspiration from her. This was something I wore at the reunion because I wanted to get myself a little bit of uh, Basketball Wives, loving hip hop reunion, sitting down, getting my life. Someone made this for me and brought it to me at a meet and greet. I wore this, uh, we were at Secret Celebrity Drag Race. Say that 20 times. I was a guest trainer, a teacher. My drag daughter won. I never won Drag Race, but Miss Dane, my child did. Looking back at season 10 and my entrance look, I mean, I still would wear it. I would do it differently though, because I wore like a queen look and I also give it to you queen like. It would just be executed a little differently probably. By a little, I mean a lot. At that time, bitch, I was a, like fresh off the nipple. I was not a baby queen, but like I wasn't doing drag that long. And I was like pulling from people in Florida like, I'm about to go do something, can I, what's the tea? So like the headpiece and all this certain things were like other drag family members that gave it to me. This a fan brought to me during a meet and greet is made after my Zodiac runway. The Libra is one of my best runways that I did on the show. It was extremely complicated because I had to keep that on my head and throw the flowers, the things you do for the show. Because I don't know if I could do it today. Some more stuff that I got, probably meet and greets or drag con. At first, you know, I used to keep it and just store it. And then my mom was like, oh, why don't you start hanging it up? I think the biggest surprise, if I had to pick one, would be going home first on 10, the whole thing becoming the whole thing and taking off. You know, cause before that happened, it was like nobody wanted to go home first. I mean, now they even let bitches stay for two more episodes cause it's that bad. I was for sure thinking in my head after it happened, like, all right, well, let me just work the first few gigs or whatever and see what happens. This is my season 10 elimination outfit that I infamously went viral and blah, 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 and everyone was tweeting about it. And I went home, my 99 cent extravaganza bitch that I had glued. I mean, look, it still don't even have a shape. I mean, it's a shape, but it's something crazy. The Barbie dolls look a fool. Half of it's broken because we lip synced. And the funny thing is, after season 10, when I got eliminated, I left it on set. Like I didn't want it. You know, I didn't know the whole thing was gonna take off. Then when I came back to season 11, they had it in the untucked lounge, like sitting. So I was like, oh, Miss Thing, I'm taking this with me. Because after that, you know, I knew it went viral and it was a moment. You know, in the beginning, I hated it. And now I'm like embracing it and I love it. and I. Have it here like a trophy. Cause child, you just never know what happens in life. And look. No, seriously, look. Now look. Voila, bitch. I'm happy everything happened. And I'm happy I went home first and I'm happy calories set my ass pack. And I'm happy that I didn't lip sync good. And I'm happy I went down. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Bitch, I ain't gonna put it in the closet. I ain't gonna wear it. So I have to frame it. Cause it's like a piece, it's an archive, it's special. I would say the first half of the season 11, I enjoyed myself. Then when I started beating the dead horse with the swimsuits and I wasn't doing as, it wasn't as fun. I'm like, ugh, I get annoyed with myself. All right, the closet. We have, let me see, let me see what I can pull for y'all. So this was part of my, Promo for season 11. All those stones. These are Swarovski, bitch, money. And the sad thing is I only wore it once. So I'm gonna get my money's worth. We're gonna have to do something with this. Alex Kazias made this for me on Instagram. Kazias, Alex, he's one of the first ones that started working with me after season 10. I thought nobody was gonna wanna work with me because of my outfit, but we had people reaching out. God is good, look at that. Get those Swarovski stones, get that. Hold on, let me grab the other part. Let me give it to you. Let me give it to you, Miss Kia. The theme was color block. I look good in yellow. Pink looks good on me. We wanted to put a pop of blue because, you know, a lot of girls do not be lining they, their clothes. That means like the inside, you know, and it makes a difference. I was on tour during season 10, okay? I was the first bitch out, but I was working. Okay, no tea. They asked me to do season 11. I got the list. I was making all the calls. I had different people making me things. I didn't realize it was all similar which was a swimsuit. I guess everyone thinks I look good in a swimsuit. Also, I took into consideration, like, bitch, if I lip sync, I want to be able to dance. I just missed the mark and I didn't think about it and plan it out correctly. Obviously, I would pay way more attention now. So my season 10, 99 cent outfit, we recreated it for one of the drag cons, drag con LA. Be the fringe, be the fringe. 
it's really good to wear on stage. It looks pretty, it moves, it's flattering, it's expensive, it gives you rich bitch vibes, and it'll give you that whole Shakira vibe, bitch, you be twerkulating. With the fringe, it gives it extra twerkulation. Face Keeney. Another time I was in the bottom and I had to lip sync. The struggle is real. Lip syncing with a face Keeney with the mask, barely breathing other than the mouth, but then your mouth is moving to lip sync, so it's like, it was a lot. It's one of these moments. Face Kenny, honey, we're here. I would redo the gold one. It was the most, it was, yeah, not my best. It was a little bad. And gold is such an easy category. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. How stupid. It's such an easy category. How do you fuck up gold? Oh, here we go. My gold, season 11. And I think this was the day I told Michelle that this was my last swimsuit. <laughs> Backstory on this. So I had gold sprayed all over my body and I didn't want to wear a swimsuit anymore. So I got some of my tights and I sprayed them gold. So it looked like full thing and it wasn't like as obvious that it was a swimsuit or whatever. Bitch, the next day I got to set and the tights were like dark green. That didn't go as planned. So I had to do what I had to do. And I told Michelle, yeah, this is the last one. And I ended up wearing another swimsuit later on in that season because the category was sequence. It was Snatch Game and I thought I was gonna be close to being in the bottom. I wasn't the worst, but I was still like, at that point I was like, bitch, I'm always gonna be in the bottom, in my head. So I wore the uh, sequence swimsuit, even though I had a dress, but I didn't wanna lip sync in a dress because then you probably end up being struggling. And the song was Sorry Not Sorry, but I was definitely sorry. I like the color red. I didn't realize again that I picked the same color four times. But if you think about it, we get a list of like maybe 40 looks. Four red outfits is not that bad when you have four, you know what I'm saying? But it just so happened that they were lined up the next, you know, in order, cause you don't know the order either. And red is a primary color. It's one of those colors. So when you pick an outfit, you're like, I want a color that's, a, that's gonna stick out. I didn't intentionally do that. It was on accident, like an idiot. Another one. Miss Vanji, 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 bitch. Drop it down low to the flow and spin. Fish Latina, really nice. And I knew that the dancers and everybody was gonna wear neon. And my shoe was broken and broke during that. And I know the fans know that they saw it. Not that that makes an excuse, cause bitch, I was. Struggle bus there too. If we're going off of season 11, I don't consider what I, I mean, it was not my looks weren't bad, but I wish I, you know, had planned things a little bit more out. But after the show now, like I've grown so much. If I go back, one of the things I would be excited about would be the runways. That's my cat Thackeray. See, this is why you have to, can't keep things out because you have pets and they grab a hold of it, they think it's toys. This was my caftan. I wore this during season 11, the magic challenge. I was stressed out, I was tired. I was feeling a little bit beat up at that point in the competition because I was desperate trying to do good and I felt like I kept missing the mark and I wanted to, you know, impress the judges. Michelle loved the caftan. My caftan was her favorite and she was happy the way just everything looked and was in a swimsuit, I don't think. Cause at that point I thought they, they probably were even thinking this bitch still gonna wear a swimsuit even though the category is caftan. So yeah, I think they were happy with it and I was too. So yeah, I ended up in the bottom with me and Sugar. They picked one from each group and we had to lip sync to Mary J. Blige, no more drama. And, you know, all that frustration, it helped me uh, end up, you know, channeling it into the lip sync. Cause I was really stressed. I was, I was like, bitch, I'm doing bad in the show. The person with so much character wasn't, it wasn't coming across in the damn acting challenges. Child was a lie. This is part of what I wore on season 11 when I had to lip sync again. This time it was me and Brooklyn. We had to make the music video. Me and him landed in the bottom. And bitch, I had a ball gown. So let me tell y'all this tea. We didn't think that there was gonna be people in the bottom. Sometimes they put people in the bottom on the last episode, but usually they just move everybody to the next round or whatever. But then they were like, this is the last episode. Everyone's wearing ball gowns, dresses. And they were like, okay, um, prepare to possibly lip sync. So we were like, wait, what? So I was like, oh, do I wear something that I can dance in? Or do I wear the gown that I would you know, end up wearing? Bitch, but I said, okay, so I had prepared, put a little panty underneath the dress, put my little dance shoes underneath my dress to, to, to get it out so I can at least do something because dancing in a dress and it's the last episode and you trying to stay, the struggle's real. 
Looky, looky. This is the top I wore during All Stars when I got invited to be a lip sync assassin. I was on tour and they called me and they were like, oh, would you be interested in coming to be in da 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 da? And I was like, a lipstick assassin? Bitch, I mean, I mean, but you know, with the show, anything they ask me to do, I'm gonna come do it. I mean, I'm forever grateful. So of course I was like, I'll go. I got the pleasure of lip syncing against Shea Coule, which I was like, Tch. but if you're gonna lose to somebody, Shea Coule is the bitch to lose to. I was invited to uh, the first Savage Fenty runway show in New York that Rihanna had. The show was everything. And bitch, I was sitting next to Cardi B, uh, Sweetie. I was sitting next to Anna Wintour, the real one, not like on Drag Race, how they be having Alaska come dressed up as. Bitch, I was sitting next to her. Gag on that one. From going home in that horrible outfit that got no kind of fashion on it. It's just got a glue gun, praying, 99 cent store and Barbies to sit next to Anna Wintour, the real one, at Alaska, the real one with the bob. Who would have thought? Little old Vanjie. I want to go to the Met Gala. They got a violet and Aquarius, so I'm already halfway there. If they can do it, I can too. RuPaul was over there. I'll go as the date. Uh, you know, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna uh, walk the Savage Fancy show. The sky's the limit. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could do more than I even say. There are certain things I just always need and I will always have in its undergarments, cinchers, corsets, tights, fishnets, bras, panties, dance fishnets. Cause on stage, it doesn't show that it's a fishnet, but it helps like even out the leg. A G-string fully stoned, corsets, undergarments. Depending on the outfit and what you're giving, sometimes a smaller titty goes good. Or sometimes, you have to put you some grown and sexy titties and get you something that's gone. Give you that kapow and that boutow. I can't tell you what's next. I'm not a palm reader. I don't do tarot cards. I don't throw dice, use crystal moons. Just keep on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. It'll come out. Lord knows what I'm gonna be doing. Maybe I'll end up on a, a TV show, get my own TV show. I'm still looking for love. I'm still single. I'm still hustling, bustling. I'm still trying to get people to bust down these walls you know, metaphorically and realistically and for real. I don't know what I'm gonna do, bitch, I can tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed my drag room. Thanks for coming. I had fun going through all the drag looks and now I'm kind of in my head already organizing, putting things back away. Y'all made a mess. Y'all got to get the out of here. This is why you also have to put things away. Look at this. Let it go!